Hi and welcome to my channel. I have a full body strength training workout for you. Use a moderate pair of dumbbells. I'll be using just five pounds. Always start lighter and work your way up. You could go a little bit heavier for some of the moves. Maybe if you've got a couple different weights, try those, you can mix and match a little bit. First half of the workout will be in a standing position. Second half will be on the floor. So we'll be a little bit on our hands and knees and on our back working our chest, um, upper back, triceps, and abdominals as well. Finishing with stretches, of course, at the end as always. Let's go ahead and get started. Making sure that you've got decent amount of room to move around and also grab your heavier weight so you're, um, you're ready to go. Big inhale, arms come up. Exhale down, we're just gonna start with a couple moves to warm up here. Again, inhale, exhale, arms out to the side, and then big arm circles here, all the way up and back. I always like to remind you guys, checking your posture, maintaining good posture throughout the entire workout. That means keeping the shoulders down and back, belly button pulled in, the core engaged the whole time. Give me three, two, and one. Reach those hands, just alternating tapping those toes. Big reach to the corner so you feel the stretch in your upper back and in your arms. A few more here. Now keep the feet and take the arms out and cross, crisscross here. So out to the side, crossing in front. Stretch the chest, stretch the back. A few more here. Okay, feet to the side, toes are to the corners, arms out to the side, and just give me a little stationary lunge here, knees going out in line with those toes. So you can take this as shallow or deep as you need to, being mindful of your knees. While we're here, take the arms down and up. Give me four more here for three, two, and one. This time keeping a little sumo squat here. So drop those hips and left. Drop the hips and left. Arms can go down and up again. Knees in line out with those toes. So think about pressing those knees back. I think this version of a squat tends to be a lot easier on our knees. Give me three, two, and one. Shake it out, time to grab our weights. Always bend your knees as you grab those weights and engage your core. Starting with a stationary lunge here. Again, much easier on our knees. Take a nice wide stance. Hinging forward at the hips with a nice proud chest. We're gonna lean down here, making sure, again, our toes are facing forward, knees out over those toes. Drop the hips back, roll the shoulders back. We lift, and then we lift our arms up to a nice high V. So all that together, we drop and lift. Keep these nice and slow and controlled. All that weight, or most of it, is in that right foot right here as we lunge. Think about weight in the heels mostly as well. You should be able to wiggle those toes and push it up. Don't round your back here. Nice proud chest. A few more. And up. Again, slow and controlled. Try not to swing the weights here. We've got two more. Lift, tight that core. And left, same position. Come back into that stationary side lunge. Weight in the heel, give me a little pulse here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, ouch, I know you felt that one. Okay, same leg that we just worked, that right leg. We're gonna take it behind us into a little curtsy lunge and come up. Again, it's a stationary lunge, so our feet aren't moving. We're simply bending our knees, dropping those hips straight down. 
press it up. This time, most of that weight is in the front foot. So in your left heel, down and left. Just go as far down as you are comfortable. Two more here. Nice job. Come back to that wide stance again. Toes facing forward. Same thing, other side. We drop it to the other side. Make sure the weight is in that heel and your hips are back and your chest is proud. Come up, V-raise. We go down and left. And down. Good, remember to keep that core tight. Pulled in the whole time. You know we'll remind you, a bunch good form is so important. I've said it before you guys, I'd always rather have you guys do fewer reps with perfect form than more reps. So important, two more here. And left. Last one, send those hips back and lift. Coming back into that position, weight in the heel, little pulses down. So hips are going down and a little bit to the side. For six, five, four, three, two, and one, push it up. Same thing, left leg now crosses behind us. Find that balance, you're on your toe and back there. We bend and left, straight down, straight up. As low as your knees allow you to. Weight in that front heel. It's amazing how different it can feel depending on where you shift your weight. Give me three, two, and last one. Shake it out, let's give our legs a little bit of a break. Bicep curls, starting out, just going halfway up, all the way down. Halfway up, all the way down. Keeping control the whole time. So forearms are just parallel to the floor. Elbows stay in nice and close to our sides. Breathing. Hold it here. Now we go all the way up, halfway down. Just working the different top and bottom half here, sections of the bicep, isolating them a little bit differently here. For four, three, two, and one. Here we go, guys. Full range of motion. And then we're done with biceps. No repeats. We love a good no repeat workout. I think it just keeps it more interesting. You're not dreading doing it again. Keeps the muscles guessing. Give me five and four. For two. Last one, lower halfway down, elbows into the side. Let's take our arms out to the side. We lift them up, back in, and back to center. So they never fully drop. Elbows in, rotate it front. Nice. I know the weights just got a lot heavier. We don't have that many more. Side, lift, back to front for four. Keep your knees bent, tummy engaged, shoulders down and back. Front, side, last one. Out and in, relax it down. Roll those shoulders, shake it out. Take a break if you need to. You can always pause the video, grab some water. Stepping forward with your right leg and back with your left, just a nice staggered stance here. Palms are facing each other with your right hand on top, left on the bottom. Little teeny bend in both legs. Again, tummy in, slight hinge forward. We're gonna open both arms up and come together. I like to call this the alligator. Arms are mostly straight, open, and close. 
Just four more. For three, two, last one. Relax it down. Same thing, other side. Come forward with your left leg. Back with your right. This time, left arm is on front. Right on the bottom, palms facing in. We open and close. Open and close. Breathe on the exertion. So inhale, exhale. Just three more. Two. Beautiful work. Come back to center. One more time, just alternating. This time feet are nice and wide underneath those shoulders. Both hands come center. We're gonna open, close, and then switch the palms. Open, close, and switch. Open, close, switch. Open, close, only four more. Stay with me. Open, close, and switch. Two more. And open, close, switch. Lower down with control. Shake it out. Nice job, guys. Those are tough. Okay, calf raises. Coming forward with your right foot, back with your left in a staggered stance. If you have balance challenges, the wider your legs are, the easier it's going to be. The more narrow, the more challenging. Holding your weights at our side, simply lift up onto your toes and lower the heels down. Lift and lower. This is great for our balance. You can always hold onto a wall or chair if you need to. And then having our feet in a staggered stance really just gives us an extra challenge here. Lift and lower for three, two, Last one, can you hold in balance? Bend the knees, relax, good. Same thing, other side. So step forward with your left foot, back with your right. Reset that posture. Here we go, left and lower, left and lower. Try to distribute your weight evenly on both feet. Coming all the way up onto the balls of the feet. Lift and lower, it's getting warm, I know. Final three. Two, and one, hold, can you balance for three, two, and one, shake it out. One more move before we hit the floor. Come into a nice wide stance, so a sumo squat. So we're not turned all the way out, but we're not going directly forward either. So think directly to the corners. Our toes are pointed to the corners, our knees are going to follow with a slight hinge forward. Holding our dumbbells here at our chest, we're gonna sit down and press it up. So it's a slight hinge forward, hips are going back, and then make sure you press your knees slightly out to the side so they don't come together at all. Again, you do you. If you're just taking a little bend here, that's still great. Still working those muscles. Think about pushing through those heels. You should be able to wiggle those toes. Three more here, push it up. And two. Last one, little combination. We're gonna go down, little pulse, push it up. Down, little pulse, push it up. So think down, maybe further, and left. Down, further, and left. Good, are your knees still pressing out? In line with those toes, and push. So good, you guys. Stay with me, almost there. Down, pulse, one more time. Down, little pulse, and lift it up. Nice work. Shake it out, grab some water. Gonna put our weights down, grab your, ma your mat, or make sure you've got a nice cushy floor, and I'll meet you on the floor. Okay, on our mats, we're gonna come to a position on our knees and on our elbows. If you prefer to be on your hands, you may do that. I'm coming down here for demonstration purposes on my elbows, take some pressure off of our wrists. Also an option if you had a chair, you could also lean forward resting your forearms on the chair. So you do you, what's comfortable position for you. Extending one leg straight back, keeping our hips square to the floor, let's lift our leg and tap it down. Belly button is pulled in, 
and we're not arching our back at all. Just lifting that leg using our nice big glute muscle. We've got three more here for two. Hold this last one up, and I want you to bring the heel in towards the bum and extend. Goal here is to keep that knee lifted nice and high. You can point your toe or flex, whatever works for you. Squeeze, release, two more. Now hold that foot in, and then we're gonna drop the knee and lift it straight up. Knee stays bent. Remember to breathe and keep your tummy in. We've got four, three, press it up for two. And one, come on down, take a little break into a child's pose, shift those hips back, reach those arms forward, big inhale and exhale. Coming back up onto our knees and elbows, and let's do the same thing other side. Extending that back leg. Engage the core, we lift and lower. So we're not turned out here. I want you to think about keeping your hips, your hip bones square to the floor. And if your core is engaged, that really helps keep that correct position. Lift for four, three, two, Hold it high, heel comes in and out, in and out. Final four, three, two, keep that knee high. Hold it here, drop and lift, drop the knee and lift, drop and lift. Think about stamping your foot to the ceiling. For four, three, two, last one. Release it down again, sit back just to find some nice release here. And then let's come all the way up, this time onto our hands. Grab one weight, and let's distribute our weight equally between our knees and our hand. We're gonna start with some rows. Again, we're staying square the whole time. Chest is down. Pick up that weight, bring it towards your hip bone, elbow nice and high, and release it down. So it stays nice and close. We're squeezing that upper back. So good for our posture. Three, two, hold this last one up. Give me a little tricep kickback. Just coming back to that waistline, keeping the elbow high. Two, and one, one more sec, guys. We drop and lift. Make sure you're breathing. You have a teeny little bend in that elbow, just to protect that joint. Three, two, Hold it up, tricep, release. I know it's getting heavy. Final four, three, two, and one. Release it down, quick stretch relief. Open up that same arm, reach towards the ceiling. And then threading the needle, taking this arm palm up underneath our other arm. And then lower your chest to the floor, coming on to your cheek. Big inhale. Exhale. Release any tension here. And come on back up. Same thing, let's do the other side. Grabbing your one weight, starting with our rows. Here we go. To the waist and release. Squeezing that upper back. Micro bend and that elbow that's on the floor. And of course, our core is engaged for four. Two, pull this one up. 
extend and bend. The back of that arm, tricep muscle. Keep the elbow nice and high for three, two, and one. One more set. You guys got this. Reach and pull. Reach and pull. Take a break if you need to. Final four, three, two, hold it up. Here we go, straighten and bend. I know you feel it in the shoulder. We're working a lot here at once. Four, three, two, last one. Release that weight down. We're gonna extend that same arm reaching towards the ceiling, opening up that chest, and then thread that needle coming underneath the arm, palm up, coming all the way down on our shoulder, resting the side of your face here. Big inhale, and exhale, release it down. Okay guys, we are done with that. We're coming onto our backs for some chest, some tricep work, some abdominals, have your weights one side on either, one way on either side of you, coming all the way down onto our backs, however is comfortable for you to get there. Making sure our feet are flat on the floor, knees are bent, hip distance apart. And a little pelvic tuck to make sure that we're, our core is engaged and we're protecting our back as well. Palms are facing each other and weights are straight up to the ceiling. We're gonna take the weights down to the side, nice and slow, three counts. So we go down, two, three, squeeze, up for one. Down for one, two, three, and squeeze. Lower, two, three, and squeeze. Down, two, three, and squeeze, we've got three more. Lower, two, with control, squeeze it up. Down for one, two, three, squeeze, last one. Down, two, three, squeeze together. Put the weights together, palms are still facing in. I want you to drop the elbows, again, three counts down towards the side. Weight is coming towards your belly button, and we push it up for one. Down for three, two, one, and push, down, two, three, up, lower, and push. Is your core still engaged? Just a little check-in, lower, down, two, three, and push, two more, lower, two, three, lift, lower, two, three, and left, keeping the weights pressed together. I want you to take them all the way back behind the head. Maybe they even tap the floor and then we lift it straight back up. Really important to keep that core engaged here. It's almost like a little crunch as well. This is great. We're using our back muscles and some more of those triceps. Down and left and lower, and left. Three more here. Two. Last one. Lower those weights down our sides. Just take a little bit of break. We're gonna do that again, but this time we are going to reverse our cadence here. So this time we're gonna release the weights down to the sides for one count and then up for three. Just to keep our muscles guessing, let's go palms facing in. So we lower, lift, three, two, and one. Lower, lift, two, three. Squeeze the chest muscles. We go down, up for three, two, and one. Lower, three, two, and one. I know they're getting heavy. Up for three, two, last one. We lower up for three, 
two, and one. Hold them here, same thing for those triceps. Lower the weights towards the belly button, elbows down at your sides, and then we push it up. So down for one, up for three, two, and one. Lower, lift, push, and push. Release, push. You should feel this in your chest as well. And lower, push for three, two, and one. Lower, push, two, stay with me guys, two more. Lower, push for three, two, and one. And lower, push for three, two, and one. We've got one more set overhead, here we go. We're just single counting these. Core engaged. Inhale. Exhale. Final four. Three. Two, then guess what? We are done with our weights. Last one. Release them down. Go ahead and put them off to the side. Nice job. Proud of you for that stuff. Let's take our head back down on the mat. Hands are at our sides. I want you to lift your feet up off the floor. And again, do lift your hips just a tinge here to keep that lower back pressed into the floor. We'll do a reverse crunch, leaving our head, neck, and shoulders on the mat. I just want you to pull those knees in. Maybe lift that tailbone off the mat. Lift and release. You can press your palms down into the floor if that's helpful to you. Give me five more. And four. Three. Last one. Release the legs down. Option here, we're gonna work on our obliques a little bit. Cross one leg over the other. If you're not able to, then I want you to cross at the ankles. Option here to leave your legs here. If your right leg is crossed over, we're gonna take our left hand behind our head, right arm is extended out or the reverse. I'm gonna lift my bottom leg, bringing my left elbow crossing over to my right knee and releasing down. Again, option to keep that foot on the floor and crunching it up here. You do you. Lift and lower. No pressure on that neck. The elbow stays nice and wide. Five. Four, then we're gonna switch sides. And two. Nice job, lower the feet, uncross the legs. Again, either crossing at the ankle or at the knee, leaving the feet on the floor or picking it up. Opposite hand comes behind supporting the head, other arm is out to the side. Here we go, elbow towards that knee and release. Keep that belly button pulled in the entire time. And breathe. We've got five. For three, almost there guys. Two, one, nice job. Release, foot down, uncross those legs. Back to hip width distance apart, both hands behind, that head elbows nice and wide, straight crunch, just 10 of them. We lift and lower. I want you to think about lifting your chest to the ceiling rather than forward. It really helps us isolate those abdominal muscles that we're trying to work. And again, keeps pressure off that neck. Give me four, three, two. Final move, guys, a little bonus here. Lift it up. Hold it there, little pulse, little pulse for eight, seven, six, five, four, 
three, two, and one. Slowly lower down. Woo. Nice job. Extend those legs all the way out. Arms over the head. Reach those fingertips and toes. Relax those abdominals. Inhale. And exhale. Let's lower our arms. Bending those knees, putting our feet back on the mat. Relaxing the head, neck, and shoulders. Let's lift our hips to the ceiling, stretching out the hip flexors. Slowly lower down. And then we're gonna lift and lower. Final exercise here. Getting a little bit more into the glutes and our abdominals again. Lift and squeeze, lower down. Give me five and four. Two, hold those hips up top, little pulses here, little squeeze, little pulse. Almost there, weighting those heels, give me five. Four, three, two, lower down, nice work. Hug those knees in if you can. Maybe grab onto your pants if that's easier. Rock and roll around. Releasing any tension there in the lower back. Oh, that feels so good. Lower both feet back on our mat. And let's extend leg up towards the ceiling. Give me some ankle circles. And reverse. Flex the foot, point the foot. Flex and point. If you can, grab behind that thigh and then gently hug the leg towards you. And then taking that ankle, crossing it over that thigh, opening the hip, knee comes out to the side. Deep in the stretch, you can lift that lower leg. And again, gently hugging it towards you, keeping the foot flexed to protect that knee joint. You, that should feel amazing. You should feel that in your hip. Lower that bottom leg. Uncross and let's extend other leg to the ceiling, starting with those ankle circles. And reverse direction. Hold it there, flex your foot and point. Grab behind that leg, again, or your pants. Gently hug it towards you. Feeling a nice hamstring stretch. And then crossing that ankle on the thigh, opening up the knee to the side, lifting up that bottom leg. Feel that hip release. This figure four stretch is my favorite. Big inhale, exhale. And let's go ahead and lower that bottom leg, uncross, and then help yourself up to a seated position. Supporting your, your hips if you need it with a pillow, coming cross-legged. Sit up nice and tall, arm comes up. Let's reach all the way over to the side. And then keeping the side position, I just want you to then round and reach your hand to the corner so your chest is down towards the knee. Reach, maybe walk those fingertips away from you, feeling that stretch in the upper back and the side of the lower back. Come back to that full side stretch and release it down. Other arm comes up, big side stretch over first, keeping that arm open, maybe even glance towards the ceiling. And then turn chest down, walk those fingers away from you. Release the head down a little bit so your neck is in line with your spine. Back to the side and come back up to seated. Flex your palms towards me, fingers towards the floor, straightening those elbows. Then let's take them out to the side, open up that chest. 
hold that stretch there and then put your palms towards the back of the room thumbs down big inhale exhale if you can take the hands behind you interlace those fingers and open up that chest try to straighten your arms to feel it in the biceps and again in the front of the body inhale release the fingers draw them towards you rounding the back again lace those fingertips together dropping the shoulders you're gazing towards your belly button a little lean over to the side through center and over to the other side back to center hands on the knees let's roll it up here one vertebrae at a time finishing with some shoulder rolls i hope you guys feel amazing i know i do some great strength training workout make sure you're eating your protein make sure that you're drinking your water so important for that muscle growth give me three two and one finishing with a big inhale exhale thank you so much for working out with me today hope you had a lot of fun please share this video give it a like share it with your friends and family really helps grow and build my channel subscribe if you haven't already thanks for working out with me again and we'll see you next time